فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Today inshallah ta'ala I want to share a benefit with you all This benefit that I will share with you inshallah ta'ala it has a very powerful meaning to it and it really makes us understand and come to know why the companions of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam they elevated in this world and they also they got a high rank and a high position in the Day of Judgment my brothers and sisters it's important that we understand that we understand these individuals and their lives and their biography and that we study it and that we imitate them we copy them because wallahi they earned success in this world mashariq al ard wa magharibiha the earth the east and the west allah gave it to them subhanahu wa ta'ala mafatih al dunya the keys of this world they got, they received it and in the day of judgment allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he already told them radiyallahu anhum wa radu an allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us a people who follow them and that by following them Allah is also pleased with us as he said وَالسَّابِقُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ مِنَ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنصَارِ وَالَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوهُمْ بِإِحْسَانٍ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضُوا عَنْهُ by us following the companions and taking their path we will receive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, being pleased with us subhanahu wa ta'ala here is a story when Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu became the Khilafa, I mean the Khalifa, when Umar radi- Abu Bakr, sorry, when Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he became the Khalifa, Khalifa al Muslimin. And he was the Khalifa to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the successor after the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Umar, who was a man in virtue and in status after Abu Bakr. Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu was living in Medina with Abu Bakr. So Abu Bakr came to Umar and he placed him عينه قاضيا على المدينة. Umar was elected. Abu Bakr elected Umar to become the judge and the qadi in Medina. فمكث Umar سنة. Umar stayed for one year as a qadi, as a judge. Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu he stayed as a judge for a year and it was said لم يفتح مجلسا he did not open a gathering meaning there was no disputes that came to his table for a year Umar radiallahu anhu did not deal with any case for that whole year ولم يختصم إليه اثنان two people and two people did not come and they did not argue uh, in his courtroom so what Abu Umar radiallahu anhu did was he came to Abu Bakr فَطَلَمِ مِنْ أَبِي بَكْرٍ إِعْفَاهُ مِنَ الْقَضَاءِ He said, release this responsibility of my shoulder now. I don't want to be a qadi anymore. I don't want to be a judge. فَقَالَ لَهُ أَبُو بَكْرٍ Abu Bakr said to Umar. Abu Bakr said to his brother Umar. أَمِنْ مَشَقَّةِ الْقَضَاءِ تَطْلُبُ الْإِعْفَاءَ يَا Umar. Is it because of the burdens and the responsibility that comes with judging is that why you want for me to release this responsibility of your shoulders is this why you want to be free from it is that the reason Umar replied to his older brother he said to him Abu Bakr لا the Khalifa to Rasulullah the successor after the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam now listen to the statement that Umar is going to put forward. And look at what Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu says. Umar says, that is not the reason why I want you to release this responsibility of me. Ya Khalifa Rasulillah. Walakin but, 
la hajata li inda qaumin mu'minin but the reality is i have no need or there is no need for me in the existence and the presence of a, belie- a group of believers by me being there as a judge there is no need for me arafa kullu minhum each and every one of those believers he has recognized ma lahu min haqq he's he's right each of each and every one of them he has realized his rights falam yatlub akthara minhu he has not requested for more than it each and every one of them those believers that you've placed me as a judge over them each and every one of them they don't need me because each and every one of them has known has come to understand his rights and he hasn't asked for more than it وَمَا عَلَيْهِ مِنْ وَاجِبٍ And he has come to know that which is obligatory on him and that which he has to do. فَلَمْ يُقَصِّرْ فِي أَدَائِهِ And he hasn't come short in fulfilling that responsibility, in fulfilling that obligation. أَحَبَّ كُلُّ مِنْهُمْ Each and every one of them love لِأَخِيهِ for their brother مَا يُحِبُّ لِنَفْسِهِ That which they love for themselves. Each and every one of them, he loves for him, his brother that which he loves for himself. إِذَا غَابَ أَحَدُمْ تَفَقَّدُوهُ If one of them is absent from them, and they don't see him for a couple of days, they look for him. وَإِذَا مَرَضَ وَإِذَا مَرِضَ عَادُوهُ If he's sick and he's ill, they go and they visit him. وَإِذَا افْتَقَرَ أَعَانُوهُ If he's in need, they aid him and they support him. وَإِذَا احْتَاجَ وَإِذَا احْتَاجَ سَعَدُوهُ And if he is in need, they aid him and they support him. وَإِذَا وَإِذَا أُصِيبَ And if something afflicts him, وَاسُوهُ They give him companionship. دِينُهُمُ النَّصِيحَ Their whole religion is based upon sincerity. Uh, sorry, on sincere advice. دِينُهُمُ النَّصِيحَ Their religion is based upon sincere advice. وَخُلُقُهُمُ الْأَمْرُ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَالنَّهِيَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ And their character and their personality is to call to the good. And to prohibit the evil. فَفِيمَ يَخْتَصِمُونَ فَفِيمَ يَخْتَصِمُونَ Why would they dispute? Why would they need a judge? Why would they dispute amongst themselves? These are the people you've placed over me, O Abu Bakr. And this, this is why Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he wanted this responsibility to be taken from him. Wallahi, when I read this, it gave me an understanding of why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elected these companions and selected them to be the ambassadors of Islam for them to be those who saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam anyone who studies the science of hadith the knowledge of hadith will know that if a companion was very young he was extremely young pay attention to this this is the value and the status of the companions that if a companion was extremely young his narration would then be considered like the narration of what? The tabi'een. If he's very young and he couldn't, he wasn't at the age of tamiz. The age where he can distinguish between things. He was extremely young. A little baby, maybe in the, his mom was breastfeeding him. Or he was a one-year-old or two-year-old. What the scholars of hadith say is because he still has honor. You know why? Because his eyes saw the Prophet. So what would they say? They will say Sahabiyun bil ru'ya. He's a companion by the seeing. Tabi'iyun fil riwayah. But he's a tabi'i in his narration. Because this looking at the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, your eyes seeing the Prophet, whether you understand him, whether you know, that itself is a virtue. And that's why Allah chose these individuals. And this is their character and their personality. And until a nation, a people turn out to be like this, and they become like this, success and prosperity don't await for them. Don't wait for them success or prosperity. We need to understand the importance, the importance of following the footsteps of these companions. So we can gain that which they also gained. Radiallahu ta'ala anhum. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect, فَإِنَّهُ مِنِّي وَمِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ وَاللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ بَرِئَانِ مِنْهُ Allah and His Messenger are free from it. سبحانك اللهم بحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفرك وأتوب إليه